Hi team, I hope you're all well. Today we are going to be doing a rather large unboxing. I have five different boxes to unbox today. I've got the Evernight box, which is the new horror box from Illumicrate. I've got the Afterlight box, which is the romance box from Illumicrate. I've got the Owlcrate Junior box. I have a special edition book from Fairyloot, and then I have the Fairyloot YA box as well. The Fairyloot adult box has not come yet. I'm not sure when it's coming, so I've decided to just do this video because I'm too excited to open up the Evernight box, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I know what the book is. I've seen the cover but I want to see the rest so I'm really hyped and without further ado let's get into it so I do have my cute little cloud cutter here and here is the Evernight box the new box from Illumicrate this is the horror box I think this is a quarterly box so every three months if I remember correctly um so let's get into it because I'm super hyped to see what the book looks like okay so here is the card for july and it does have a description on the back of what the book is so i'm not going to tell you what that is i'm just going to get the book out this cover in general freaks me out but i prefer this one to the original one i'll show you a comparison in a minute but it is silver nitrate by Mar sylvia moreno garcia this is absolutely stunning i am obsessed with this the i've got the um umbrella light in the background so it is reflecting a little bit but these oh my goodness they're gorgeous these are the sprayed edges oh it's all the way around as well and oh pretty 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 <laughs> just see oh i've just seen the naked hardcover the house of infinite wisdom this is so pretty um the end papers look like this that looks like a hellhound or something um and it is signed by sylvia moreno garcia as well and then the back end papers are the exact same is this one of those hardbacks oh, oh illumicrate i love it love it before i tell you what this is about let's do a cheeky comparison to the normal cover so i prefer this cover because it makes sense this is the normal cover it makes sense in the sense that silver nitrate is in silver, but this makes sense because the whole thing's in silver. Do you get what I mean? And I don't know why, but this doesn't freak me out as much as this does. <laughs> it's the eyes. It creeps me out. This is the Waterstones edition that is signed, also signed by the author. Uh, the end papers, as you can see, are just normal and under the dress jacket is just red. Uh, so that is the, just for comparison's sake, if you were interested. Um, so... Silver Nitrate, I've actually got no idea what it's about. I just bought it. It's Sylvia Moreno Garcia. And at, right now I have an up and down relationship with Sylvia Moreno Garcia. I just DNF'd my first SMG. And I'm terrified because Jade's told me she doesn't think that I'm going to enjoy Mexican Gothic. I haven't read it yet. So I have all of them that she's got. So I have read Certain Dark Things, which I gave four stars. I've read Gods of Jade and Shadow, which I also gave four stars. And I've DNF'd recently The Daughter of Dr. Moreau. I've still got Mexican Gothic, The Beautiful Ones, Velvet is the Night, and now Silver Nitrate as well. So this one says, Monster Rats has, also, has always been overlooked. She's a talented sound editor, but she's left out of the boys club running the film industry in 90s Mexico City. And she's all but invisible to her best friend Tristan, a charming if faded soap opera star, even though she's been in love with him since childhood. Then Tristan discovers his new neighbor is a cult horror director, Abel Ure Ureta, and the legendary Arteo claims he has a way to change their lives, even if his talent of a Nazi occultist imbuing magic into highly volatile silver nitrate stock sounds like sheer fantasy. Years ago, he began working on the film of a lifetime, but the magic film was never finished, which is why 
Uretta swears his career vanished overnight. He is cursed. Now the director wants Monsterat and Tristan to help him shoot the missing scenes and lift the curse. But as the three work together, Monsterat be begins to notice a dark presence following her. The closer they come to unraveling the mystery of the film and the obscure occultist who once ruled Mexico, Mexico City, the closer Monsterat and Tristan come to learning that sorcerers and magic are not only stuff for the movies. Interesting. I love that this does this. I'm intrigued now to know if this one does it. No, not quite so much. <laughs> It'll make a pretty fan though. Um, so yeah, this is the first Evernight book. I am really impressed with that and I'm very, very happy with it. I'm obsessed with these pages. They're really, really pretty, very cultish. This is also, I'm sure of it, skinnier than that one. I'm sure, I know that sounds dumb, but look, I'm right, right? I'm sure of it. I'm sure it's skinnier. Only ever so slightly, but I'm sure of it. Anywho, so that was the first Evernight book. Okay, next we are on to Afterlight, which is also a sub box of Illumicrate. This is the romance box. It did start off as by as um, quarterly, but it's now a bi-monthly box, if I remember correctly. Can I get in? I don't remember what the book is for this month. This month, this time around, July. So I was, I almost just told you what the book is. With this box, we do get added extras as well. So I'm intrigued to see what these are. Oh, collapsible floral vases. How in the hell does that work? What? Okay. Fair enough. Um, I don't have any use for these whatsoever. I do have some nice vases downstairs <laughs> that I will use instead of those. Um, but okay. Designed by white bread pattern. Display of fresh or dried flowers in these stunning floral collapsible vases. I'm not sure I would trust it to not to collapse. Do you know what I mean? Um, and then we do have these uh, note card sets, spontanical note card sets. I don't mind getting things like these, to be honest, because the amount of times that I leave it last minute to get somebody a card, and those are really, really helpful and useful. So, yeah, we also have a greetings from LA card. Uh, which is an advert for Love Me Do by Lindsay Kelk. I already have a copy of that. And um, I'm really excited to pick that up. Lindsay's one of my OG favourite authors ever. And then we do have a Dear Reader letter from the author with some very, very pretty art. I love his tattoo. Very nice. And then we're into the book. Oh, this is pretty. So, oh, the edges. So, this is Forget Me Not by Julie Soto. I haven't heard, I think I've seen this around. I think the cover's different. I do think I've seen it around, but this is really pretty. It's got some gold foiling on it. The end pages are, not end pages, the bottom and top sprayed edges are this colour, while the end looks like this. Very flowery indeed. Um, on the back, both Ali Hazelwood and Abby Jimenez have left quotes. I loved every second of it from Ali. A spicy bouquet of thorns and roses, a triumph from Abby. Intra oh, oh. That looks like something out of a fantasy novel. Look at that. Who's your next bookish boyfriend? Because I think I might have just found mine. Pretty bookish signed by julie as well okay what is this about because that boy is handsome love his tattoos <laughs> i have a thing for forearm tattoos don't with me i just have a thing for forearms in general if they're tattooed even better ama torres is a great pl wedding planner yes i love books with wedding planning ama torres does not believe in happily ever afters okay nice when Amma lands the job of her dreams, a headline-grabbing wedding for a glamorous influencer and her fiancé is her biggest job yet. 
but the florist is none other than Elliot Bloom, Arma's ex, the man whose heart she broke two years ago, the man she hasn't spoken to since. Can they get through the wedding without killing or kissing each other? Interesting. I thought for a hot minute this was going to be like um, the Wedding Planner movie, you know, with J-Lo, where she steals the fiancé. <laughs> thought it was going to be like that. Okay, the florist. That works. Um, nice. I am intrigued about this. This cover is so pretty. Also, this man, it's much hotter than this man, I've got to be honest. Um, nice, okay, so that is the Afterlight box. That was a mix. I wasn't too keen on those vases. I get it, I get why they're in there, but I'm not a huge fan of those. But the rest of it, nice. I like that they've got an advert in there for Lindsay's Love Me Do because I feel like she just doesn't get enough recognition and she, sh she truly should, she's fantastic. Owl Creek Jr. is a middle grade subscription box. I do have a discount code for you if you would like to get some discount off and have a butcher's at their boxes. Oh, this looks right on my street. Haunted Spaces. Nice. This is the spoiler card. I will keep hold of this while we go through. I'm going to do the pin at the end because it's usually for the book that we are given. Uh, we do have this... Oh, this is for Small Spaces, which is one of my favourite horror book, middle grade horror books. This is really, really cute. It does say wherever you go in this big, gorgeous, hideous world, there is a ghost story waiting for you. This is adorable. I love it. Yes, 10 out of 10. Would recommend both the book and the bookmark. Got no idea what these are for. Not a clue. Oh. Oh. Make your own ghost clay kit. We'll come back round to that. Sorry, that was kind of like a spoiler and then I just was like, yeah, we'll come back round to that. We have another bowl from the bowl set. I kind of keep these for when Thomas comes round for like his tea and stuff. Oh yeah, I do have some of his own. He's, he does have some of his own bowls. Okay, I'm going to guess City of Ghosts uh, by V.E. Schwab. I doubt I'm wrong, but I'm going to guess City of Ghosts. Yes, correct, Amondo. And inside, uh, there is also always a quote, there should be good news, bad news, and food. I agree. Good news, bad news, food. Give me the bad news first, then the good news, and then the food. Just to round it all off, please. Okay, what else have we got? I'm excited for this book. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, we have a sculptural ghost oven bake kit, which I assume is what these are for. Make your own clay ghost friend to add to a little spookiness to your room. I think that I might try and give this a go at some point. Four colorful blocks of oven bake clay and instructions. I am excited about that. This is why I love the middle grade ones. I'm, the middle grade boxes, I'm not gonna lie. I know they're for kids, but I just enjoy some of the activities that come with them, you know? Ooh, some coloured markers. I'm always down for some coloured markers. Who isn't? Haunted Hues coloured markers. Oh, they look like a pretty set. Nice. Oh, they're double-ended as well. Bonus. Might try them out later. Uh, use your Haunted Hues markers to fill in these colour by number postcards designed and reveal the ghoulish settings of some of the favourite spooky middle grade stories. Nice! I don't know if it tells you what the stories are on the back, but they do have like a key on the back to tell you what colour to use, which I think is adorable. We have this one. It was a dark and stormy night. Oh, they're the same. Hang on. This one has a graveyard. Does this one also? Yeah, it has a graveyard. I Maybe it's because if in case you've got two kids and you're just getting one box. I'm not sure. But I think that's really, really cute. And I think I would definitely give those a bash while listening to an audiobook. Um, because that sounds like a fun time. I'm not going to lie. I love colouring in. Uh, right, let's do the pin and then we'll get to the book because the pin is for the book. We have a pin flag from Owl Crate Jr. in which we can put these pins on. Um, and this is for the Bellwoods game. This is this month's pin. Very cute. 
We do have the theme of August's Owl Crate Junior, which is a who done it. Nice. Exciting. I love the word who done it. And then we have the Bellwoods game by Celia Crampion. Let me get this out of the foiling because that is awful reflection. <laughs> Not the foiling, the packaging. Oh, this cover's got a texture to it. I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, we do have a meringue ghosts recipe in here. You do get one of these every single time you get the book. There is a, at the beginning of the year, there was like a folder that came that you could put those in and collect them, which I think is really cute, especially for kids. And then this is the cover. This actually looks like a lot of fun. I'm not going to lie. Very nice indeed. At that moment, as if in answer to Madison's words, a bell tolled from somewhere deep in the woods. Clang, clang, clang. A fresh wave of goosebumps cascaded down at Bailey's arms. The words from her journal rang in her head over and over again. Bad omen, bad omen, bad omen. Nice. Oh, I love spooky season books. I love middle grade spooky season books. Look how cute that is. Oh, Jesus Christ, that's terrifying. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. It's the same on the back as well. This is a really, really slightly adorable, slightly terrifying book. Signed first edition was printed exclusively for Owl Crate Jr. Very nice. Ooh, what a way to start the book. Dear reader. It's got a map. Fall Hollow. Ah, oh, sign me up. This sounds really good. There, there's a trail in Fall Hollow that if you follow leads to a wandering brook. It was there on the ridge by the old wooden bridge was Lassie and Abigail Snook. <laughs> Listen, sign me up. This looks amazing. It's illustrated. I want to read this right now. Where is spooky season? Where you at? Come on. Everyone knows Fall Hollow is haunted. It has been ever since Abigail Snook went into the woods many years ago, never to be seen again. Since then, it's tradition for the sixth graders at Beckett Ele Elementary to play the Bell Woods game in which three kids are chosen to go into the woods on Halloween night. Whoever rings the bell there wins the game and saves the town for, for another year. But if Abigail's ghost captures all the players first, the spirit is let loose to wreak havoc on Fall Hollow. Or so the story goes. Now that it's Bailey's year to play, she can finally find out what really happens and legend has it, the game's winner gets a wish. Maybe, just maybe, if Bailey wins, she can go back to the way things used to be before grandma got sick and everyone at school started hating her. But it's Abigail's ghost really haunting the Bell Woods. One thing for sure, something sinister's at play waiting for them in the woods. Samuel, Samuel, this might be my favorite I'll create junior book I've had in a while. I'm not gonna lie. I am so excited about this. Amazing. I have never heard of this before. This sounds like so much fun. I am so here for this. Awesome. And you know what? That box was pretty good as well. I'm not gonna lie. I was not mad at that in the slightest. All right, next, second to last, we have the Fairloot Special Edition book. I know what this book is. I mean, it says it on the front of the box, but also I've remembered what I've ordered, which I don't do often. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Okay, this is the Fairloot Edition of Yellow Face by RF Kwong. This is pretty. I knew what it was gonna look like before I bought it. I love the end of the the straight edges i knew what it was going to look like before i bought it but i just didn't realize that this was going to be like quite so yellow you can almost barely see it regardless the end the sprayed edges are stunning look how cute that is very luminous i love it um the end papers look like this they are all letters just in case your eyes go a bit funky and underneath the dust jacket and this one is signed by Rebecca herself uh this is pretty I this is one hell of a story it's just not hers to tell I am looking forward to reading this one again shall we do a comparison with Waterstones very own special edition. This is the Waterstones one that I got for the RF Kwong event. So as you can see, very similar but also very different. You can see the wording way more on the Waterstones one. The sprayed edges, again, very different. 
I love them equally, I'm not going to lie. Um, I did get this one signed by Rebecca at the event. This is the end papers and then underneath the dust jacket, the it's a black cover with shimmery black eyes. So I have not read this one yet, but I am intrigued to do so. So let's find out what this is about. Athena Lu is a literary darling and June Haywood is literally nobody. White lies. When Athena dies in a freak accident, June steals her unpublished manuscript and publishes it as her own under the ambiguous name Juniper Song. Dark humour. But as evidence thro threatens June's stolen success, she discovers exactly how far she will go to keep what she thinks she deserves. Deadly consequences. What happens next is entirely everyone's fault. Dun, dun, dun. Um, I have heard fantastic things about this and I am very excited about picking it up, especially off of the back of DNF in Babel. It just was not for me, but I love the Poppy War trilogy. So I'm really hoping for another hit with Rebecca because I, I need it, desperately need it. I really, really need it. <laughs> I had two special editions of Babel and I'm really sad to let them go because they're absolutely stunning. I had both the Illume Crate and the Feralu editions. And I'm heartbroken to see them go. But the book just not, is not for me. So I'm really hoping that this one will be so much better. Fingers crossed. I stuck with just two editions of this. I wasn't getting any more just in case. You know, you can never be too careful. Okay, last but by no means least, we do have the Feralu YA box. You know what I kind of wish they'd stop doing is putting the spoiler card at the bottom of the box. Because it means you have to go through everything to get just to the spoiler card. Um, okay, so this month's theme is Cruel Intentions. We do have Nathaniel and Elizabeth from Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson this month on the tarot cards. These are very pretty as the uh, Page of Stars and Knight of Stars. Very, very nice. We start off with some crew socks. Step into the world of Kay Ancrum's The Wicked King, which is one of my favourite books of all time. These are really, really pretty. I do enjoy Fair Loot socks, I'm not going to lie. Their trainer socks are really nice, very comfortable, and don't slide down your shoe. Which I know is a very low bar, but come on. How often do your trainer socks slide down in your shoe? It's annoying as feck. So, shout out to Fair Loot for getting decent socks. <laughs> It's a low bar, I know, I know. Monster Family Crest Coaster Set. You know what, I just got a new table, a uh, coffee table downstairs and I've been wanting to get some nice new coasters, so. Um, we have a mermaid. Hellhounds or werewolf? I don't know. We have this. We have a fox and we have a phoenix. Very pretty. Oh, these pastel coasters show the family crests from Vanessa Lenz's captivating novel Only a Monster, which weirdly enough is sitting right next to me on the floor because I haven't read it yet, but it's in the wrong room. It needs to go downstairs. Then we do have a pin, the nightmare pin apparently. Oh, it's like a tarot. That's really pretty. Drawing inspiration from Rachel Gillig's One Dark Window, this enamel pin beautifully captures the nightmare. One of the Providence cards. Oh, interesting. It's not tarot. It's one of the Providence cards from One Dark Window. Again, still haven't read that one. Listen, don't judge me. I'm terrible at reading my special edition books. Bloody awful. We have some magnetic bookmarks. Revenge takes an elegant shade of pink with these cruel intentions bookmarks indulging in their beauty and add a touch of glamour to your reading experience. Oh, wow. They are really, really pretty. Love me a magnetic bookmark. I do not have enough of them and I would really like to get some more. Good Lord, they're stunning. I love them. Love them. Then we do have a new secret box. I never know what to do with these things. So far, one of them's collecting the tarot cards from the first like set of tarot cards. Um, I think another one's collecting a new set. I don't bloody know what I'm doing with them. This is pretty though. The Book of Fate. Very nice. Just 
discover the enchanting book of fate the second volume in our secret book collection of magical tomes safeguard your fairly collectible tarot with its pages again they recommend to do it with the tarot you can store whatever you like in it store these i don't know what you want to store in it i store all sorts of stuff in mine to be honest tarot in one but the others i think are just collecting other little bits like pens or um stickers i don't know oh those edges are pretty okay let's get the um we have the fairy scoop which i'll go through in a second we do have a dear reader letter this artwork is very pretty are you there we go this artwork's pretty pretty we have the matching bookmark to the spoiler card as always i put those in those boxes as well to be fair i think it's just the cover it doesn't feel damp it's just the cover i think i hope the pages are a bit wavy though uh we have threads that bind by kika hatsupolu hatsupolu my apologies kika i'm fucking awful with pronunciation these edges are really pretty though look at those bad boys very nice oh the end papers stunning uh we signed yes oh you can barely see that because it's in silver and it's very small <laughs> oh pretty i'm not sure i like the feeling of this cover i'm not i think that's what's up with me i'm not sure i like the feeling of this a very nice reversible dust jacket but it feels like paper i think i've had this issue before <laughs> it feels like paper the book eaters didn't like that cover either um this is stunning though very nice indeed i i don't like the cover <laughs> it's pretty to look at just don't like the feel of it i'm not gonna lie that was a choice um in the city of alante the descendants of greek gods live alongside mortals giving you all the side eye because you know i don't really read greek mythology books um dripping with atmosphere and edged with danger threads that bind bind weaves together a gorgeous dark tapestry of mystery fate romance and modern myth you won't be able to put this one down that's from alexandra bracken um albeit I am a sucker for books that can do this. I'm not going to lie. I don't know what it is in the binding, but it it just makes me really, really happy. And I'm not sure why. What is, why is this page darker? What is going on here? Ooh. It's got parts in it. Nice. Um, interesting. We'll see whether or not this is going to be up my street, but uh, I predict probably not but it's very pretty just don't like the texture of it it's probably a me thing more than anything but i'm not a fan of the texture uh so there is that but yeah pretty indeed so that is the last book for this unhaul the fairy scoop by the way because i did say i will come back around to this one does have an interview with the author as always uh there will be a read along that starts for this on august 21st if anybody's interested in that and next month's theme is reap what you sow it's time to defeat the undead this month we're celebrating stories that challenge death itself stories where the thin veil between our world and the one after begs to be crossed and what happens if we or someone else comes back from the afterlife in this box you can expect expect items inspired by gideon the ninth a belladonna i've read that one the bone season i've read that one as well and two fandom neutral items we're thrilled to reveal that this book will include a pair of metal bookends and a glass tumbler nice our feature book of the month is a dark YA fantasy about a disgraced ghost fighting warrior who must journey into a haunted wasteland to re rescue a kidnapped prince. Fascinating. <laughs> um, interesting. I'm intrigued. So yeah, that is everything that I have unboxed. Let's have a quick butchers at the books again. So we did have the Bellwoods game from Alcrate Junior, we had Forget Me Not from Afterlight Box, Silver Nitrate from the Evernight Box, Yellow Face from Feralute, and also Threads That Bind from Feralute. And these are the sprayed edges on the other side. They're pretty indeed. And I'm really actually quite excited about this selection, minus the threads that bear. I'm not that excited about those, but I'm excited about the rest. 
so i am happy with this unboxing i hope you have enjoyed chat to me in the comments down below have you read any of these i highly doubt it because some of them probably haven't i mean the al Creek junior ones are pretty good at giving us books that haven't quite yet come out yet but chat to me in the comments down below i hope you have enjoyed this unboxing and i shall see you in the next video bye for now mm -hmm.